Breaking news, Clark County Fire Department responding to a small plane crash near I-15 and Gene. Boom, every cop in the world just, they're all here right now. Well guys, welcome to Ragnarok part four, all right? Uh, today I'm a UPS delivery driver. I'm bringing Igor some parts that I picked up for him to put on the car because some of the things I'm kind of sourcing myself and uh, he's just putting them together. So we're working on a couple different things right now. And uh, let me show you what we got. First box today is gonna be suspension. Look at this, brand new suspension. So these here are uh, parts from an, existi an existing car. I'm not gonna tell you what car it's from, but it's from a very expensive car. So uh, I don't get in trouble or anything like that. I don't think I would get in trouble, but I just don't wanna try to get in trouble. But you got front right here, okay, and then the rears. Over here, I've got a test rotor. Car's gonna have carbon ceramics. So I purchased this damaged rotor right here to test the spacing and some of the suspension work has not been done yet. So I wanted to double check before we spent $20,000 on brake calipers and brake rotors that this is gonna work. All right, so test rotor. Check this out. Oh. You're fancy, man. These are Huracan brake calipers. Now, this is a, again testing. We're not gonna use this, but see the thing is that I'm designing something that I'm thinking power to weight and I'm thinking stop power. Now let's see, uh, this is a, uh, Let's double check that this is the front one before I make it different. Okay. <laughs> Hold on one second. All right. The rear caliper to a Huracan. All right. Look very much so larger in the front caliper of an Alpha, but not that big of a difference. Now, think about this. Those calipers are designed for the weight of the Alpha. The weight of the Alpha isn't really gonna change that much. I mean, the center, the width will, so like the, the dynamic of the car will, but you probably could leave those brakes and I bet you they'd still stop the car. But we don't really wanna do that because we're gonna want the car to go faster than the Alpha. So we want better brakes. Check these out. This is like, what is it called uh, when you unwrap things? Unboxing. unboxing. We're unboxing uh, eBay calipers. Holy sh... Can't cuss on the air, all right? This is ridiculous. Three pistons. Unbelievable. Look at the size of this thing. Now let's put this in comparison to the Alpha. It's like the same, that's like the size of the whole wheel hub. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Now, these are some brakes, okay? Unbelievable, super sick, okay? We've got, uh, basically this brake caliper here is the exact same caliper that's on the Aventador. Three piston, Brembo, carbon ceramics. This is a rear rotor right here. So this rotor would go to a, uh, this right here that would sit right on there and uh, we'd have the same size. But like I said, we're not using this rotor for the car. We're just gonna test fit all of these things because we still gotta make suspension. We still gotta make hubs and that's gonna be done this week. Now, if you look over at the car, you see there's some action on it. All right guys, so we just took apart this shifting box right here because you know, one of uh, the most amazing parts about the Gallardo is that it has that little piece right there, right? This is that beautiful gated shifter with the ball. You want that, right? But this is really ugly. And the only way this would look good is if we covered it in leather and made it real fancy. 
But I asked Igor right now, I was like, hey, what do you think if we did a fully exposed manual shifting linkage in the center tunnel? Now, we don't know if it's possible yet. And I'm sharing this information with you guys because these are the ideas and these are the things that we're working on. And I wanna show you that we're, we're taking the time and detail to hit every little thing on the car. So we've got suspension, we've got brakes, we've got brake calipers front and rear, possibly exposed shift linkage. If not, it's gonna have a super sick leather console, probably like a you know, USB thing in the middle with a cup holder. Always need a cup holder in a car like this. And uh, let's take a look at what Igor's done with the plate work that we got printed just about a week ago from um, Cal West Manufacturing. So follow me over here. As you can see, they're working on taking apart the header right now so you get the catalytic converter out of there because the turbo should arrive any day now. Um, but here's the plate work and Igor just welded this up right here. He's just working on it right now. He literally pulled in and he was actually welding the thing when we got here. So we got this real, I mean, I'm not gonna shake it yet because it's not all done, but you can see this is some big boy stuff right here. Now, I mean, I'm excited. We are working really good on this. But uh, let's take some time, let him work a little bit, and we'll film, I guess, whatever he does today. All right guys, come down here and check this out. I just found out that our blow off valve, right here, we got these, and uh, our waste gates have arrived. Uh, you know, Mario actually just asked me if this was the turbo. I'm, I didn't see it clearly. <laughs> okay, um, basically, uh, I don't know. See, turn around, see those things over there? I know how just big they are. turn around right there. The turbos are bigger than those catalytic converters. So if this was the turbo, whoops, see, Mario breaking stuff. This was the turbo we'd make like three extra horsepower on the engine maybe less so no these are not the turbos these are the waste gates pretty big though really nice and uh i've got the uh, standalone ecu we've got um some of the wiring harness here now i'm i'm kind of trying to figure out where the rest of it is because there's an engine harness that uh doesn't seem to be here but uh i'm gonna i'm gonna find out because um, that was very expensive. It was like $12,000 for the uh, full harness kit. Um, we're gonna need to get that. All right, so since we're here and we have the truck, we might as well just take back the uh, rear subframe of the Alfa. I'm hoping I could like sell this, you know? Uh, if anybody needs Alfa Romeo parts, I have an Alfa Romeo, like the entire car, except uh, that little piece over there, I have the rest of it. So um, I'm gonna reach out to some salvage yards and see if I can maybe sell this stuff. We just recently left Igor's place. There wasn't much more to do there. We have to go back tomorrow, unfortunately, because um, he was in the middle of welding when we got there and um, a couple little things he needed extra to go to the store. So we just said, hey, we're gonna come back tomorrow and we'll, we'll do the more progress update on then. So we decided to go get lunch. I haven't had pickup sticks in probably man, four years. They used to have them in Vegas, but they all closed one day, all, all of them, the whole group. So today we are doing buffet at pickup sticks. We've got all of their favorite entrees, Mongolian beef, uh, their pickup sticks, uh, special chicken, crispy honey chicken, a Thai coconut curry, fried rice, some chow mein. We've got some white rice over there, an array of sauces, some chicken egg rolls. Uh, enjoy today's feast, guys, because I know I will. Well, it took us a lot longer than I expected to get back out here to give you guys the update on the Ragnarok because, well, I said I was gonna be back in three or four, maybe five days, but it's been like nine. And, and that's because uh, the Canelo Triple G fight weekend really took a really big toll on everybody at the shop. And I had to put all hands on deck, including myself, to get everything going through the weekend. So now we're back in LA. We just left uh, picking up Jesse's new Gallardo. And along with the Gallardo, I bought a few extra parts. Now, 
we're gonna drop those parts off we've got the uh, the hubs the suspension pieces that I needed for the wheel bearings and we also got the brake rotors so I showed you guys last week we had the one damaged rotor that we're gonna use to kind of overhaul the situation with maybe making our own brakes so we're gonna send that one out and have it replicated hopefully uh, but until then I've got brand new brake rotors to go on the car so we're on our way there now. We're just down the street. So we'll update you guys once we start unloading the trailer. Everything is unloaded. And just walk with me over here and take a look. You can see the shape of the car is getting much, much, much different. Now I've set the rear Ragnarok wheel here so you can see the design language that I'm going with, a very modern, twisted, bespoke design, very similar to what uh, 812 Superfast or even like the modern Huracans is a very, very beautiful looking wheel. Now, obviously the biggest tire possible, so 335, 25, 21 to handle all the power. Right here, we've got the frame welding started. I, you know, I'm so sorry guys that this is not going a little faster, but we've had to make a few changes because of strength, stability, and a couple other things. But if you come to the table, you'll start to see some of the other parts. Now the tubes are here to get the, the, uh, the, the, the part that goes to and from each side of the chassis. And the turbos definitely showed up today. Check these out. The precision turbos beautiful we got a billet wheel inside here oh such a nice turbo, this is a nice turbo. It, it just looks and smells actually great right uh, we've got some other parts on this side our e-brake system has has shown us we got electronic emergency brakes we've got the front and rear rotors of the car pretty substantial I mean this thing is massive I just gotta walk it over there and show you Alfa Romeo fronts, Ragnarok fronts. <laughs> wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Hefty, <laughs> I mean, hefty, hefty. <laughs> you can't even see them anymore. So everything on the car is getting beefed up to support the power. Everything's getting ready. You know, all these parts are starting to come together and everything's starting to look like a brand new car. Let's go talk about this over here. Everybody knows that we just went and picked this up because you guys watched Jesse's supercar garage video where he just got his brand new Lamborghini Gallardo. Now this right here is the new transmission option I'm gonna use for the Ragnarok. Yes, the car will be available in two different options. Six speed manual, like I would prefer, and dual clutch, like maybe other people would prefer. So we can get those amazing numbers to where the car can do the zero to 60 in 2.5 or 2.4 seconds. That way we, uh, we impress all the critics. So this is going on this car here. And now if you guys want a little bit of education on this particular transmission, this is a brand new Huracan transmission. Obviously it's not brand, brand new. I bought it from a, a car that was uh, either wrecked or salvaged or whatever. So, you know, I didn't want to go out and spend a whole bunch of money for R and D, but obviously every new Ragnarok that they build is going to have a brand new setup in it. But this is the five liter Gallardo motor. Now the 5.2 is where the Huracan and the LP series came about. This bell housing is exactly the same as that bell housing. So technically, now I don't know what we're gonna do with this information. You could put a manual transmission on a Huracan, or you could put a dual clutch transmission on an old Gallardo. Now there's a couple little differences inside that you have to change that I won't share with you but I just wanna let everybody know it's possible. All right, we're gonna leave uh, Igor here and we've got to drive. It's four o'clock on a Friday. Well, we're not gonna actually drive. We're gonna sit on the freeway and putt 45 miles, four and a half hours down the road to our hotel. But uh, I'm gonna leave you guys here with all this information. Enjoy this episode of the Ragnarok build. Now it's gonna start to come together really, really quick. So the next few updates, you're gonna start to see this car transform from what you see today into something incredible, all right? I hope to drive it within 30 days. 
Now, 30 days puts us one week before the SEMA show in Las Vegas. So if I can get that done, give Houston a huge thumbs up. You guys, subscribe to the channel. We need more subscribers. We're slacking. We've only got like 210,000 right now. Hook us up, hit the subscribe button, throw us a thumbs up on the way out, and we'll see you next video.